I always say that a horse is an artist at taking a person to their weakest spot. And a horse like this will let you saddle them up, they're quiet, they'll let you get on, they're quiet. And then this is where you hear people say, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I found myself on a horse that was, you know, trying to buck me off. Maybe did buck me off, and that's that's where you get hurt. So, All right, Dennis here, Capital Training and Shoeing, doing a recap this morning on uh, how to defuse a buck in the horse, how to stop it before it happens, and uh, I think this is a, a really good video. I know this is one that you're going to want to revisit several times because there's so much that went on during this video. Uh, it is it is a step-by-step call-by-call video like most all of mine are and that and you know being able to read the horse so that you know when to do what is what makes any of this stuff work uh, the young man riding this horse hasn't been riding very long so it, it, I was instructing him on how to get where he needed to be so he was safe in the saddle so that he had successfully taken the power away from the horse and positioned himself in a position to where he could assert his authority when he needed to to get his point across to the horse. Now, you know, any time that, that uh, you've got a horse that has learned how to, to do things uh, to get his way, and I, and I think that's what we're dealing with here, this horse, uh, you know, is is not a bad horse. He's not a bad bronc. He's a little bit spoiled, <laughs> and uh, you know, and that's that's not unusual. Uh, it's it's very common for horses. We we pet on them and we we treat them as nice as we can, and I do as well. But we have to be careful because respect can get compromised, and we don't notice it. And then the horse wakes up, you know, and finds a hole, so to speak that they can take you to a spot. I always say that a horse is an artist at taking a person to their weakest spot. And a horse like this will let you saddle them up, they're quiet, they'll let you get on, they're quiet. And then this is where you hear people say, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I found myself on a horse that was, you know, trying to buck me off, maybe did buck me off. And that's that's where you get hurt. So this this video is filled with information and tools to help you to avoid getting yourself in a position to get hurt. You know, the only reason that we, any of us ever get on a horse is so we have fun. And, you know, hitting the ground doesn't have, there's no part of having fun for that for anybody. So, but what, what you're going to see in this video is, is how to take that horse's power away how to use the bridle reins in a, in a way that is effective. To bring his head around just enough that you can get that hip starting to move away. And when that hip is moving away and the back feet are crossing, whoa, bam, we've got him. <laughs> we're in a position now with the horse where we're in authority. We're the ones calling the shots. When that horse's back feet are wide and they're straight apart, and you're at his mercy. You know, and until we can get Forward movement and lateral movement behind, it's you're you're pretty vulnerable as to what might happen. It might work out all, all right out there. Some of them will just kind of go up and brace up against the saddle and and then warm out of it a few steps out and and, and that's fine. Sometimes we'll get lucky and it'll happen that way. But you know, my experience with horses like this, this horse is is not a bronc. He's not a and by a bronc, I mean one that is determined to buck every time you get on him. There are some like that, and uh, they're just not worth messing with. I mean, it, it, there's too many good horses out here, and it, to put yourself in harm's way every time you get on a horse just to go have a little fun, you know, there are not very many of them like that, but there are some like that. So, you know, just, just be mindful that that, that does happen. Um, if you think you've got a horse like that, I'd, I would encourage you to, to, to find some professional help and see. It might be that that horse just needs more of what we're doing in this video and could be all right. So don't ride him off if, if that's what you think you have. Get Go get some help with somebody that's been there a lot of times to, <laughs> to help you through that. Um, 
you know but but in this video you're going to see uh, how that we fit the use of energy in a way we're going to increase energy when we're wanting to make it difficult for the horse to do what he's doing we're going to use uh, a body position of the horse by bringing the nose around slightly and feeling the back legs cross as a tool to allow us to implement that energy until we get the back legs crossing we cannot add that energy when up when that back leg crosses over the other one and we've got forward motion and we've got uh, We've got a, a little a little bit of bend, not not around your foot, but just a little bit of bend to keep that horse looking away from where the hip is going. Then we can increase energy. And this is where I talk about we can make the horse wish that he had a different idea. <laughs> you know, we can we can put him in a spot where he goes, oh, I wish I hadn't done this. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose a different way here. And that's the key. We've got to get that horse to change what he's thinking in his mind. So this physical act here has it, got to be tied to when is that horse agreeing with us. As soon as that horse agrees, all that pressure comes off. We allow that horse to go straight. We allow him to have a, a step forward. That's very important right there. That's just as important as the pressure that we applied is when we took it off, when we allowed that horse to step, when we allowed that horse to feel, oh, I'm okay, I'm not afraid. If you don't time the timing right up here, you'll scare that horse, you'll make him worse. So I, I caution you, you've got pay attention to what, when we're, when we're putting the gas on and when we're taking it off and how we've got the body positioned and, and what that rider is doing up there, if you notice, there was one time especially where I had him take a hold of the saddle horn with his outside hand. And all that did was stabilize his body in the saddle, got him in a position where he could apply the energy that he needed at that moment and not have to worry about losing his balance up there. If you, if you lose your balance up there and you don't have a stabilizing either in your feet or your seat or your hand on the saddle horn, You'll, you'll find yourself using the bridle reins to stabilize yourself, and that, that, that doesn't work. We, we cannot balance, we can't stay on the horse because of the bridle rein. The bridle rein is there to direct that horse, show him where we want, and when he's going where we want, even in this situation, that horse needs to be able to put some slack in that bridle rein. <laughs> If you're up there white knuckling on the bridle rein, you're hanging on for dear life. He can't find any relief, so he's going to get in a lot of trouble there because of you and going to give you more trouble. If you come back and watch this video again, I know I keep saying that, but it, you cannot grasp all of what's going on in real time. So when you have the video, you can you can play a little bit and stop it if you need to, maybe, or come back and rewatch it in the, and so you can see what's going on in the sequence and when things fall out so that's the reason that we do these these recaps as well so to to give you a different perspective to watch the video from maybe the first time watch it for entertainment's sake the next time watch it and there's going to be something jump out in your mind that that's you know was important to you the next time you watch it through you've already seen the thing that was important to you the first time so watch for other things and then that's where you're going to see it's like watching a brand new video every time you watch it and and watch it all the way through to completion too because it, you know, our videos are shot in real time they're not edited and you're seeing things as they happen you know the good bad and the ugly comes to you right here on these videos so we're we're trying to we're trying to set the stage to where these are useful tools for you that you can you can actually learn if you're if you're interested in learning you know if you're not interested in learning well watch it for entertainment's sake and then, then go on with it but i i really feel like this might be one of the better teaching videos that we've had for situations like this it seems like that with the questions that we get that that the, the bucking is a, is a big deal and and you know we don't want to create it we it's a big deal to get it get it diffused and to stop it and that's what this video is about
thank you very much for your time you know we've got one thing coming up in january starting january the 8th we've got an online course about building confidence and in that course we'll be in detail about how to read these horses better how to how to position yourself so that you have the confidence that your horse needs you to have so that you can be the leader that you need to be so you might go to go to our website check that out and i believe you're going to find something there that you're really going to like thank you